Hey guys, welcome back. I'm starting this video off very differently because I want to tell you something incredible happened. This was going to be a regular video and as I was editing it though, I caught something that I didn't know happened at the time I was filming it. See, you're going to see what happens in the video when you watch it, but as I was editing it, it, it was just, I thought it was a fail. I thought the video was a complete fail. I was going to edit it and show you what happened and why it was a fail. But it turns out it was a complete win. And it was a complete surprise. And such a cool science react. Well, I don't want to ruin it for you. But something really cool happens at the end. And something you've never seen with Mentos and soda before. So stay to the end. Watch what happens. And it'll just be really cool. And other news, there is another giveaway today. The real video, the regular video is going to start in a second. But these are all the winners. These are all the giveaways. I am mailing them today. So if you did win and you're watching it, your pop socket and your spinner are on its way to you. My hand is stuck in here. The incredible science spinners that you're going to see in a second that I'm giving away another one for. But just, just watch what happens. It was so cool. All right, let's get to the video. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Incredible Science. Welcome to all the new subscribers that have been coming here the last few days and weeks. Thank you for being here and I will do my best to entertain you and to bring you awesome cool videos. Now today's video is something I have never seen done anywhere. I'm gonna get to that in a minute. As you know from the title, it involves soda and Mentos and liquid nitrogen. But first, let me thank you and talk about the giveaway. Congratulations to Sky Demon. Yesterday he won the giveaway, spinner and pop socket. Anyway. I will be giving one again away today, both of these, to the first person and one person only. So sorry to everybody who is late. Turn on post notifications so you'll know when I upload the videos. It's usually 4 p.m. every day. But if your notifications are on, you'll get that bell. You'll get that notification that I posted a video. You can come and watch it and find the secret word. If you haven't seen my past videos and know how I give it away, I put a secret word somewhere in the video. So when I say that word, all you have to do is type the time below. Be the first person to comment the time of when I said that word below. Today's word is Pepsi. So first person to comment the time of when I say that word will get these two for free mailed to you. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get to the video. All right, so we all know what happens when you put Mentos in Diet Coke. We've seen it a billion and a half times. I've done it a billion and a half times. We've all seen it and done it. You put the Mentos in and the soda shoots out. Here, I'll do one for you right now so you can see it in case you haven't seen it in a while. It's still a cool reaction. It's just been done over and over, but let's do it. Less common experiment. How many have you seen Diet Coke placed into liquid nitrogen or liquid nitrogen placed into a bottle of Diet Coke? Well, I've done that experiment and I'm going to show it to you in a second. But basically, when you pour liquid nitrogen in Diet Coke, a bottle of Diet Coke, sort of like half a bottle of Diet Coke, and you turn it upside down, it just shoots up into the air like crazy. It shoots hundreds of feet up in the air. It comes out really powerful. I made rocket launchers with this. Let me show you a little bit of the video I did this past summer. I went to the park, I took Diet Coke, little Coke bottles, and liquid nitrogen, filled it up, and they went sh shoot it, just watch. <laughs> All right, so now that we all know that, now that we all know how liquid nitrogen reacts with Diet Coke or Coke, and we all know how Mentos reacts with Coke, what would happen if I were to put Mentos into liquid nitrogen and then have that do its thing in the liquid nitrogen, freeze with liquid nitrogen, and then take those Mentos and put it in a bottle of Diet Coke? Would the eruption be stronger? I would think it should be because the way liquid nitrogen and Diet Coke reacts is crazy strong. So we're gonna try that right now. I'm gonna pour out some liquid nitrogen. I'm gonna soak some Mentos in it, like seven Mentos. We're gonna put it in a bottle of Diet Coke and see how far it shoots up. We're gonna compare it with a regular bottle of Diet Coke. And that'll be the experiment for today. I don't know what's gonna happen. This is the first time I'm trying it. But just based on what we've seen, I would think, right? You would think that it, would, it should go higher. 
but it'll be cool to try. We'll have some fun with the liquid nitrogen. Let's get it going. All right, guys, I'm taking a Mentos. I'm gonna dunk it in to the liquid nitrogen here, and then we're gonna compare it between a Mentos that's been sitting outside of the liquid nitrogen. We're gonna smash both and see how they react differently. All right, here's a regular Mento right here. Let's smash it in three, two, one. It actually smashed nicely. But let's see the difference now with one that was in liquid nitrogen. Let's see how it acts differently, if at all. It, it cracked just when it landed. Okay, it didn't have that sticky. It definitely broke into a lot more pieces. As you saw, it just broke when it fell on the ground. The regular Mentos would not do that. And the regular Mento has a sticky stuff in it. The liquid nitrogen one is a powder. Okay, so good to note, it's much easier to break and it doesn't leave behind the sticky stuff. But now for the real test, we're gonna head outside, take some Mentos in liquid nitrogen, seven of them, keep it in there for a good minute or two, take it out, drop it in the soda, and then compare it with Mentos and soda that was not affected by liquid nitrogen at all. I think the one in liquid nitrogen is gonna go much higher. It should, let's go. We're gonna put seven of them inside here. Now they say Diet Coke works the best, but I'm sure if you had Diet Pepsi, it would work just as fine. Let's go outside and try it right now. This is regular Mentos in Diet Coke. Three, two, one. That was pretty weak, even for Mentos and Diet Coke. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the second bottle, put it in the exact same spot, and put the liquid nitrogen Mentos in it. All right, these are ice cold. Ooh, can't even touch them, they sting. They're so cold. Definitely can't eat them. Here we go, three, two, one. It went even less. It went less than the... That's really shocking. That is really shocking. I don't understand that. I do not understand that. Let's pour some liquid nitrogen in here. How cool was that? Nothing happened for 30 seconds, just a little bubbling in the beginning, and I thought it was done with, and then 30 seconds later it just erupted. The camera caught it. I was not there. So what happened was the Mentos must have thawed out, it must have warmed up, and it became the regular Mentos, not the frozen Mentos, and it was able to react with the soda. That's why it took time, because it was originally frozen so strongly, so cold from the liquid nitrogen, it wasn't able to react with it. So cool. It's funny, in this scene, I'm looking at it and I'm, I'm I remember thinking I'm surprised that they both are equal amounts of soda even though the first one I saw go out much more and I was thinking how's the second one equal to the first but I figured okay it just must have fizzed out and I, I just didn't see it or whatever I just moved on I didn't put much thought into it but now it totally makes sense how they're even because it erupted when I wasn't there. Now I'm just gonna pour some liquid nitrogen in here to see maybe we'll get some reaction. Look at how much the same exact amount of soda came out pretty cool though even though this was a much less of a reaction even though this was much less of a reaction, the same amount of soda got emptied. Half a bottle and half a bottle. Pretty cool. Ready? Three, two, one. That is nice. It would take off. All right guys, so now you know what happens when you put Mentos into liquid nitrogen, into Diet Coke. I was completely shocked. 
I thought for sure it would shoot up higher. Actually, the regular Mentos and Diet Coke didn't even react that well to begin with. But I guess the liquid nitrogen froze it, and because it didn't have those little tiny microscopic holes in the Mentos, the mint Mentos has tiny little microscopic holes that the carbon dioxide of soda goes into and shoots out. So now that I'm thinking about it, it makes sense because since it got frozen, it was just smooth and flat. That's why regular, any other flavor besides mint does not work in Diet Coke to shoot it out. So the explanation I'm giving is correct at the time it was frozen and that's why the soda couldn't get to it, to the little holes in it. But what I didn't realize was that as it thaws, as it melts, those holes would come back and the soda would shoot up. So it just took a little time for the Mentos to thaw, to warm up, and then the reaction happens. So cool. Let's get back and we'll end the video. So I guess freezing it made it smooth and therefore did not let it shoot out. That's my explanation. Let me know what you think. If you have a different explanation, if you could make sense why that didn't work, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to this channel. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my vlog channel and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, stay incredible.